Hey, hey, everyone, it's Regina, and welcome to anyone who is new here. You guys, I'm glad to be back. Um, I have a word to release on today, a word of encouragement, uh, a word that's going to ignite your faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel charged on today. I feel the presence of God on today. Hallelujah. So I just want to dig into what it is that the Lord has laid upon my heart um, to give to you all. Yesterday, as I was preparing to sit down at my desk and just do a little work, as I was was like going into the sitting position i heard the spirit of the lord say a torrential downpour you guys and i was like whoa like what a torrential downpour of blessings thank you lord jesus so you guys i come just to let you know this is for the faithful Come on, somebody. This is for the obedient. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is for those who have held fast to your faith. I want to encourage you and let you know that God notices. God has seen your labor. God will not let you uh, stay in a stuck place. He's too good for that. He will not allow you to stay in a stagnant place. Uh, he will not allow you to stay in a process. Yes, he'll send us through the fire sometime. He'll send us through the storm. Hallelujah. But he's able to send you through and bring you through without smelling like smoke. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Without looking like what it is you have gone through. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I come to let you know. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that the blessings of the Lord make it rich and they added no sorrow. Blessed be the name of God. And this that's coming, the blessings that are coming to you, you won't have room for it. God is literally going to blow the minds of his people. He's going to blow the minds of the kingdom citizens. And I believe that he's positioning us, right? He's positioning us and he is... um strategically placing us in rooms on jobs, careers that will cause us to prosper. And come on, entrepreneurs, come on. You know, I got a soft spot for the entrepreneurs. The word that the Lord has spoken, that he's giving you the wealth He's giving you the creativity to create wealth and riches with your own hands. So we bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. For those in the kingdom, those that belong to the Lord, the, the, the God of our salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He will not allow you to be put to shame. Thank you, Lord. Yes, they may have talked about you in that season of testing. They may have mocked you in that season of trying, but God will not allow you to be put to shame. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They're going to have to eat the very words. Once the Lord blesses you, they're going to have to eat the words that they spoke about you. Hallelujah to your name. So you guys, I want to go to the word of God. Hallelujah. I was uh, reminded the scripture that the Lord dropped on me, the passage is Luke chapter five, when the Lord had instructed Simon to go out and launch his net into the deep. Now, this is that the Simon had been on the water all night, all day, toiling, and was not turning up anything, was not turning up any fish. He was fishing, working hard, and nothing, nothing. But guess what? He got a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. He got instructions from the Lord. And the Lord said unto him, I need you to go out a little further, launch out into the deep. And Simon was like, okay, Lord, but I've been out here all night. But just because you said so, I'm going to do it, right? And at his obedience, thank you, Lord, your obedience will cause heaven to move on your behalf. Because he was obedient to the Lord. What happened in that moment was supernatural, was supernatural. I remember watching the uh, like the Bible story concerning this, and I was amazed at the depiction and how they showed the supernatural happenings with how uh, the Lord allowed all of the fish to, to gravitate to Simon's net, right? And he had got so many fish that he was not able to even bring them, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, bring them to shore. I'm getting over a flu. Always something, okay? My husband keep bringing home the cooties, my God. But 
back to what I was saying, the Lord, uh, the supernatural happenings with all the fish coming in the net so much so that he had to get help. He had to summon his friends to help him because it was too heavy, right? Come on now. That is what the Lord is getting ready to do. You won't have room. You won't have the capacity for everything that the Lord is getting ready to do in your life. So what the Lord is going to do is he's going to give you strategy. Thank you, Lord. Strategy for that wealth, right? Because our main goal, as the Lord is blessing our lives, our main goal is to turn around and do what? And be a blessing for the kingdom, right? So you're going to have to build and you're going to have to plant and you're going to have to sow here and you're going to have to sow there, but it's all going to be for the glory and for the kingdom of God. As I said before, this is for the obedience. What if Simon had not been obedient to what it is that the Lord had told him to do? Right? Sometimes the Lord will turn around and say, now try that again. Try it again. Try your hand at it again. I know it failed the first time. I know it flopped the second time, right? But try it again. What if Simon was like, you know what, Lord? I ain't got time. I've been out here all day. I'm getting ready to go home. I need rest. I need sleep. I'm not getting ready to do that. I ain't got nothing. I don't have any fish in my net. Why would I go back out there? There's nothing down there. What if that... <coughs> Excuse me. What if that was his stance? What if that was his position? But it wasn't. He obeyed God. He obeyed the instructions of the Lord. And what happened? What happened? He had so much that he didn't have room to receive all that the Lord was getting ready to release unto him at that moment. And what stuck out to me was verse number eight. Listen. Listen, because sometimes God will allow us uh, to go through a certain season. Uh, he'll allow us to take a certain road, right? And sometimes that road can be hard and it can be tumultuous. Sometimes you can try to lean on other people or glean from other people. And sometimes you'll be like, Lord, why? Like, I'm, why won't people, you know, at least try to give me a blueprint, right? To the success that they have. Why won't uh, people be willing enough, you know, to, to show me the route to prosperity and success? Sometimes God won't allow them to because he is going to be the one to get the glory. For everything that he's doing in your life, he will get the glory and he alone. Right, so in verse 8, I love how Simon, it says, but when Simon Peter saw this, when he saw what the Lord had done, he knew that that was a work that only God could do. He recognized the miracle, right? Like you will recognize the miracle. You will recognize the sign. You'll recognize the hand of God on your life, on your situation as it, as it begins to turn. You'll recognize, my God, that the blessings of the Lord are flooding and overtaking my life. And I feel the glory of God right now. Hallelujah. You will recognize it. And it says that Simon fell down at Jesus's knees. And he says, Lord, go away from me for I am a sinful man. So he's saying, Lord, I recognize in this moment who you are. I recognize in this moment what you have done for me, God, and I am not worthy. Thank you, Lord. So that's the part right there. Hallelujah. When nobody will be able to get the glory for what God is getting ready to do in your life. But God, you won't have room enough for it. It will impact those that are connected to you. Thank you, Lord. Remember, I think it was two weeks ago or whenever I was last on here, the word that the Lord says, the last will be first. And the first last, come on, guys. God is turning this thing. Hallelujah. He is turning it. Hallelujah to God. And he's turning it in favor of his people. Thank you, Jesus. Those that have been obedient, those that have been faithful, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. God has a way about him where when you believe like, God, I've been at this thing for a long time. I've been believing you. I've been trusting you. I've been taking you at your word. I have stayed in the place of prayer, God. I have kept my life clean. I may not have gotten right all the time, Lord, but with everything that I have, Father, I try to honor you, right? Hallelujah. Sometimes you can feel like the Lord is not noticing or that he does not care, or that he's not honoring that which you are offering up to him. But I come to encourage you and remind you, oh, that is not so. 
that is not so. God honors the faithful. Yes, Lord. Ah, Shataya, I hear the Lord say, I honor the faithful. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He says, I honor those that live for me and are obedient to me and are committed to me. I honor you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the blessings, the tangible blessings, hallelujah, will come and overtake you. The tangible blessings will be proof that I honor your sacrifice, your living sacrifice. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. So you guys, be not weary in well-doing. Hallelujah. And know that in due season, you will reap if you faint not. Yes, Lord. You will reap if you faint not. Keep being obedient. Even the instructions that sound crazy. Even the instructions that don't make any sense. Like the Lord told, he was out, Simon was out there all day. And the Lord said, go out there again. So in your human mind, you like, go out there again. I've literally been out here all day. There is nothing out there. Hallelujah. But he didn't know that there was a test of his obedience. Yes, Lord God, a test of his obedience to see, will you obey me? Will you take me at my word? Right? This time, try it again and see what turns up and see the hand of God rest on your situation, on your circumstance, y'all, on your money, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. On your family, on your children. Thank you, Lord. This is not always about money. Hallelujah. On those that you're waiting for God to save and fill with the Holy Ghost. On your health, your healing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You won't have room enough for the blessings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want us to always uh, realize that the blessings are not always caught up in that which is financial because everybody's not hard up for money, right? Everybody's not pressed for money. There are people who need God in more ways than that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So know that whatever capacity that you need the Lord to move in your life, this is for the obedient and this is for the faithful. See what the Lord is going to do. So, Father, I thank you for your people, oh God. Hallelujah. I thank you for what you are doing in their lives. I thank you for this word that comes to remind us, oh God, that when we're obedient to what it is you call us to do, when we're obedient to your commands, when we are obedient to your word. Hallelujah, Lord God. That is what renders the blessings. That is what sets us up and positions us to receive the blessings of God, to receive the favor of God. Hallelujah, Lord. So I pray that you bless everyone under the sound of my voice, oh God. Hallelujah. I pray God speed to every situation, every circumstance, oh God, everywhere that they need you. May they see your hand. Every time they turn around, may they see your hand upon their lives. Hallelujah. God, we give you glory for this word. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I feel the weight of God on this word. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I feel the weight of God on this word. Hallelujah. Be not weary in well-doing because in due season, you got to reap. Hallelujah. God will call you to reap. He will cause you to reap because you've been faithful. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I bless you in Jesus name. And until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye.